Hello everybody and welcome back to another in our series of Battletech Advance 3062. Exciting times today. Uh, update 4.2.2? Uh, 4.2. Yeah, 4.2.2. So obviously there was a new update, 4.2, and there's been a couple of hot fixes since. So I am currently running on the latest uh, version. I'll give you a quick rundown of some of the new stuff that we've got in here. Um, I've just got it. I'm just reading it off my phone. So... Um, uh, there's a uh, they've expanded the initiative system. I'll actually explain that more in game. It'll just make things a little bit easier. Um, we've got there's a new uh, pop up that comes up. Um, we'll again we'll I'll point that out in game. But basically the um, where the you get all the little ticks that come up when you uh, perform an attack on a mech or whatever, and it tells you you know torso explosion, ammo explosion, knockdown, pilot injured, and all that sort of stuff when a mech dies. At the end, there'll be a little. There's another little ticker that pops up, and it tells you how many salvage parts you get off of. The, you will get off that particular kill. So that's uh, pretty handy. Um, there is uh, more custom, uh, custom voices, and the heat banks and the mass and the superchargers are now working. They were. There was an issue with how they were calculating the distance. I think and the speed. Um, so those are all working as intended. Hopefully now the uh, actuators are now more named more descriptively which is good uh, exchangers uh, lams plasma rifles uh, and plasma rifles took a bit of a nerf to be honest the plasma rifles were a little bit op i haven't used them much but they are they were quite uh, quite a little bit um uh, powerful uh the juggernaut auto brace has been fixed training day contract is now more history lots of new more tanks because you know we needed more things with ridiculous amounts of firepower taking our mechs apart um Double XL engines are now in stores, and there is now a new Thunderbolt quirk as well. And there's a bonus super secret pilot and a super secret contract for you to, for us to find, as well as various little fixes and and other little stuff. So, um, as always, all the links to the uh, BattleTech mod and the uh, community asset bundle, which is required to run the mod as well, all I uh, post them in the link in the in the comment in the um, description below, so you guys can go and have a look for yourself. Anyway, right, we've got that little bit out of the way. Um, I'm trying to remember where we've got. I've had such a hectic day the last couple of days. Um, we had lots of streaming on the weekend. I've been really busy on the Minecraft servers and everything else, and there's been events going on and and all sorts. Um, right, so uh, I don't think we... There's not really a lot to do. Um, I think I repaired the Icarus that got... Yeah, I basically I repaired the Icarus and that got a bit of a kick in. I think we did that at the end of the end of the video last time, but we've got a UAC two now. Um, we've only got one ton of ammo, but it's twenty five shots, which I think it would double tap it. It's uh, so there's about twelve shots per thing. So we'll leave it as is and see how we go. But we've obviously upped the armor. I don't think there was really anything else that I could have done or have done or changed or anything. And I can't remember if I checked the pilots. Let's just do that real quick. Uh, so Corsa is, we're still trying to get to Juggernaut, so we'll leave him as is. Dida, we want to work towards the initiative. And uh, Kraken is not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Von Cobra. Uh, cool chop. We'll go for a cool chop bonus, I think. And we are done. So let's see what contracts we've got. Uh, defend base, destroy base, raiding party. Trap sprung and a convoy. Um, let's go for the trap sprung. I think we should be able to do that. I think it should be fine. Famous last words. <laughs> like that hasn't bit us in the butt before. Um, I'm just struggling. I've just been, I played a couple of the last games I played were on my Twitch. Which playthrough I'm just trying to remember what's on what now. So the Panther was a another punch bot. Okay, so let's put um uh, see he's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a waste putting Kraken on there. Um have we got anybody else that's a bit see these are all fine let's tell you what, let's put face on there. Let's get let's take him out for a spin. He's only got to punch things. It can't be that hard, right? Yep, so we'll leave that as is. 
So yeah, super excited. I've played um, like a, a trial match on my Twitch playthrough account on Twitch playthrough just to see uh, some of the changes. I know the uh, mask on the Juggernaut was underperforming uh, when we were playing it on stream last, and it seems to be a bit better. Not quite up where I was hoping, um, but it's 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 better. It's an extra couple of ticks better than it was. So um, you know, I'm too used to. Uh, like my previous playthrough when I think I had a charger, but that was an 80 tonner and that had a 400 rating engine in it and it would literally sprint across the map and I was kind of expecting the same sort of thing from a juggernaut and like thinking about it, the mass doesn't add up. It's a 90 tonner and it's got a 390 engine in it and it just, yeah, it was never going to run that fast. But anyway, we'll, um, but coincidentally, I am stream, I do stream Battletech. I stream it on a Monday, which coincidentally is today. Uh, so I will be doing a my Twitch playthrough tonight. So if you still want more of this, please by all means come and drop me a follow for and you know you'll see when I go live again. Link will be down in the description below. Anyway, that's my YouTube channel plugged, and let's go. So the initiative system, as you can see, is different. We do have uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, and F. Uh, basically what happens now is the uh, if I get it I'm just gonna quickly uh, make sure I don't actually say this wrong I have got the thing here but the brief thing is it basically the initiative system now is on a 10 through to 1 scale so the lighter the mech uh, the higher up the scale it's gonna be so the system basically works exactly the same as it does before only it's broken down into more chunks so Whereas before you had like light mechs, you know, the super light mechs uh, moving on like turn four or five if you have the initiative buff, and then you had like mediums, heavies, and assaults. What is now is it's basically done on a tonnage rating. So the it basically breaks down like this. And if you're a, a sub 20 tonner, um, so it goes on turn 10. 20 to 25s go on 9, 30 to 35s go on 8, 40 to 45s go on 7, so on and so forth. So you're sort of basically you're, you're 80. The only one that's got a bit of a jump is when you get to basically um, the 80 tonners. So 80 to the 80 to 90 tonners go on 3, and then it's back to 5, uh, 95 to um, 100 should go on 2 and so forth um, but all of the bonuses from the pilots and the skills and the computers work the same so if you have a pilot that's got the uh, computer that allows you and uh, basically boosts your initiative turn if you were initially uh, initial turn say seven you will go up one to turn six and likewise there's a special one on one of the cyclopses that um, boosts the initiative for the entire team so you will all move up one bracket so all that works the same the whole system essentially works the same it's just expanded a bit more so that's that and there was something else um, that I was supposed to talk about and now I can't remember anyway let's crack on with this and so we've got to destroy enemy units destroy reinforce so the reinforcements are there the reinforcements are actually right next to us so yeah let's go yeah, we're going to go sit in the radiation field, but we'll spot. And the enemy reserved. So we have a quick draw. We have a Vulcan. Oh, yeah, we were going to talk about the um, uh, the damage the, the damage ticker. So I'll have to remember that. So I'm going to reserve as well. If they're going to start playing shenanigans, I'm going to start playing shenanigans as well. So as you can see, we are slowly going down. The, uh, the ticker box of it is moving down into turn 6, turn 5. At least they're moving. They've got fed up of reserving. Which is good. They haven't moved a lot. I might have to fiddle with the volume slightly. And also, by the way, guys, uh, I'm a little bit late recording today, so the kids are actually home from school. So if you hear any random yelling or there's a lot of weird jump cuts, that's basically why I'm trying to get this done today. Uh, it's just been one of those days. I'm just going to crank that volume down a tiny bit. Um, yeah, so if there's any sort of weird noises in the background, that'll be why. And, okay, he's... So the only thing we can get is... So I don't want to move yet. I want that quick draw, bleh, quick draw to move he is doing and he's not doing very far which is great but now the enemy those well the ones that we can see anyway have all moved 
So now we can actually react to that and actually do something about it. So I'm going to go for that one. We're not going to get many hits in, but we might do relatively well. 66%. I'll take that. I mean, he's dead. Right, watch. See? One salvageable part. And come up on there. So we know now that that mech is going to give us one salvage. Um, also, I don't know if they've tweaked the ammo explosion stuff. Um, but I noticed on my previous playthrough, I mean, it's not often that I see an ammo explosion. I've, that's like the second one I've seen in two matches. So just be aware they may very well possibly have done something um, with that. Uh, can we sense a lock? Yeah, I'm just sense a lock, Vulcan. Got a lock. Um, so yeah, be aware of that just in case. Uh, right, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I have said that in error. It, I don't know. It just it just seems that may, that it feels like that's um, happening. Also, as well, I did notice there's a there's a, a thing in the tech uh, support about a common bug. Um, I don't hit the done button, the one that appears down here, until your mech has completely finished moving. Because what can happen is sometimes it will bug out and it'll still think your turn is active even when it's not. And it'll basically, you can't do anything. So uh, a little top tip, wait until you, I know sometimes you might be in a rush to sort of go through, but do not hit this done button until... You have like until the mech has completely stopped and everything's done. All right, so just make, just bear that one in mind as well. All right, they're reserving again, Receiving you. and we can actually punch. Though we are going to. Oh, and there's most of his firepower gone. Happy days. Happy days. My, this is really. Sweet. Voice is really sore throats, really. Rude. What's up, boss? Okay, Mr. Von Cobra. With your goals rifle. Um mm, 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 we kinda want blue. Can we have blue? 43, what happens if we go over there? Still 43. Uh eh, eh. 37, 37, okay, that's changed, it was 43 a minute ago, why is it now 40, why, <laughs> stop changing your mind, alright, we're going to go here, Location confirmed. and that's for, oh, actually, we've got a better, better hit on the Vulcan, and the Vulcan is a bigger threat right now, ooh, in the gut, sucker punch, For Excellent, right. Uh, UAC 2, can we get a bit... I don't want to get a bit higher. I don't think we're going to be... That's going to be the best we can do, is it? Yeah, no, it's going to have to be there. Full speed, no target. Oh, got some hits. Ready for orders. Keep you up there. Always, always, always go for the higher height advantage if you can. Well, they went a bit wonky. Here comes the reinforcements. And I'm not going to totally rush in because I do kind of want the height. Mind you, I don't think it's actually going to make a lot of odds. It's actually better if we do this, so we'll do that. Yep, we'll do that. Only 25%, but... Okay. Yep, one salvageable part. Aha, see what I mean about the ammo explosions? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if that was an ammo explosion, but... Hmm. Okay. 
All right, so we've got long range spam coming in from over there. Let's hit him hard. Now I kind of ready for orders. Want to spot? So we're gonna head up here. get line of sight we're not gonna get line of sight there is stuff over here so I'm gonna move up here and we know where they are at least oh hello <gasps> Ooh, rough neck okay. uh, he's only got small lasers so we can't really do anything else so that doesn't matter but we know where the rough neck is so that's fine so we know that's where some of the lerms were coming from ready for orders and six percent we'll take it Actually, do you know what? Let's see if we can properly take it. Acknowledge. Side Critical torso, it didn't actually finish him. That's fine. Ooh, hello, Mr. Stinger. Alright. Okie dokie, where were we? Um, Von Cobra. Uh, is any of these two within punching range? No. Standing by. Okay, so we are going to keep shooting at the Irby whilst moving up. Copy that. 43%. Locking in all weapons. And we missed, yeah. Oh, come on. Yep. Know how you feel, dude. Oh, he has moved now. Okay. Now, uh, I think we'll use Corsa. Go from slightly this side, and hopefully we'll get that torso. There he goes. And one salvage. Tango down. One salvageable part. There we are. That is very nice. It does eliminate a lot of the... What did I get? So you can kind of plan what you want before you've even got to the salvage screen, which is highly useful. So if you know you've got the parts of a mech you want, don't have to worry so much about trying to take the legs off every single bit. You just know yeah, that you've already got it. You know what I mean? So we're just going to sprint up here now. There's nothing else we can do. Roughneck is moving up. Okay. Damn. Let's do this. Um, I am going to use the Panther to punch this stinger, mainly because more like he's going to do more damage to the stinger than he is to the Roughneck. And the stinger is kind of the one of the more annoying ones to deal with. Good to go. Okay. Want to get over? Here. I don't want to be in the dust cloud if we can. Eighty-four percent. That's nice. And what have we got on you? Seventy-four. We could. We could take this guy out. Lucky. Receiving you. Except she can't. Um, don't mean she'd be able to get up there. Sycorus is a little bit of a letdown at the moment, if I'm honest. I mean, it's alright, but it's not great. Right to my mate. And he's got a Gauls rifle. What do you think that's going to do? <laughs> yes, Commander. Okay. Um, on reserve. And see what this. Ooh, a centurion. Okay. Nice. I want this roughneck to move. Got it. It's fine. Or not move, as the case may be. How? What the hell was that? Something back down there, so there's obviously another lance as well. 
tank at least, of some description. Aye, aye. Okay, Corsa can just about Roger that. see something, which is that. Give it a go. Yeah. Too much to wait for that that was going to hit. And... Jump. Can we get further if we jump? We can. Firing Alright, let's jump you. over here. Alright, let's see. I'm planning on punching that roughneck anyway, so... Taking the shot. Pretty his engine. Reporting critical hit. Rude. Standing by. And uh, we want to keep our evasion up. Uh, we run round. Mm, Fifty damage. Solid. That's all the Panther is there for. Is just basically to provide a t an extra target for a. For them to shoot at, so that my damage dealers can actually get up here and do something. On the move, full speed. Six ninety nine. Hey, wow. Um. It's a bit of a waste. Got it. Yeah. If you got, it serves the full. I mean, it's not worth me wasting a full alpha on on that. And likewise, I get you on the move. Sweet. That. And what are they shoot at? Wolverine. That's fine. Okay, let's get rid of... Flames on the way, yeah, that's fine. No problem. On my way. Have a go at this, this roughneck. Waiting for orders. And we can't melee. Okay. Right. It's an angle. Like that one. I'm not too worried about that LAM right that stinger right now. Let's see if we can get his shoulder. Roger. Not quite. Reporting critical hit. Gonna have like one arm one structure left in that, isn't it? Really not entirely sure what's going on there. I think it's laying mines? I um, don't know. Honest. We'll soon find out. Damage minimal. Receiving you. Uh again, I think we'll use the Panther for max evasion. On it. Locked on for physical attack. Yes. Okay. Is that all you've got? Waiting for orders. And I'm still try I want to keep the Gaul's rifle up high Position because confirmed. the Hollander is all right armor wise, but it's not super amazing. Um. But likewise, height bonus better. Commander. Coordinates received. Yep, yep, definitely. Again, we'll go for the shoulder. I'm not going for the rough neck because one of our mechs is standing in front of it. And we're more likely to core our own mech out in the back than we are to actually hit 
anything. Standing by. Um, we'll go from this side. Let's move into position. I'm t I want to salvage this mech, so I'm trying to get him to panic and punch out. That's why I'm meleeing from different sides. Tango down. I'm trying to get it to fall over and for him to get his panic levels up. That was nasty. I can't take much more of this. My armor is getting ripped off. Um. Okay. So we still got back armor. So let's go back from this side. Position confirmed. I was hoping it'd go for the leg. Got something you want done? Mm. Firing full complement on the enemy. Critical hit, Commander. Can you? He's a hey, no. He's not going to punch out, is he? I think we're just going to have to. Just gonna have to go for it. Mind you, the Icarus can't really do anything there anyway. Ready for orders. I kind of want to see that thing. Line of sight on that. Roger that. Back. Acknowledge. Commander. Again, right, what if we jump? Lifting off. Alright. I don't think we we're, we're not gonna be lucky enough. To salvage this roughneck. Is there just one tank that they've got there? Whatever that is, that hurts. Reporting, Major. Give them everything you've got. Orders. Right, what is this thing? Mortar. Okay. He didn't have a lot of um, uh, structure on the front there. Oh, that roughneck is not really doing anything. I don't know why he's. I think he shot himself in the face. That's why his armor's so low. Ready to get it on. Um. Moving to position. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why this roughneck isn't shooting, but. Roger. Okay, now he's panicked. So what we're going to try and do now, maybe we are going to get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a precision strike and I'll do it at the, at the other shoulder. Still panicked. Come on, man. Waiting for orders. Uh, um... Ready for orders. Affirmative. Honestly, I'm just going to fire the SRM-6. Actually. Yeah, I am, yeah. Just going to fire the SRM-6. Again, he's still panicked, but he's not really panicked. Yes, a bit of... Let's see if we can get a shot of this thing. Reporting critical hit. Can you... Did you, can you not go bang? No? This should be him done. Confirmed. You've got to be kidding me, really? He's made absolutely every part of the tank go horrible. Oh, wow. 
Just wow. On my way. Right. Uh, no, I wanted to do multi-target, sorry. A, and B, and we'll shoot... That's B. Affirmative. Thank you. Yeah, there was one, there was one. The objective was one enemy unit. He's still not dead, but he's good. still not, he's not, he's not panicking. Yes, Commander. <sighs> Targeting for an alpha strike. Ooh. I didn't see the salvage thing at the end. Oh well. Uh oh these have uh changed a little bit, that's fine. Okie dokie. That's two roughneck parts. I think that's what we're just basically going to have to go for. Mortar, blood probe, TTS indirect. Mortar, SRM ammo, yeah. Centurion and a quick draw. I got Centurion parts already. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. I don't think any of our mechs need repairing anyway. Hey. Uh, nope, we're all good. Uh, yes, yes we do. We can make a Centurion. Awesome. That mech you wanted is back online. Okay, what have we got on this bad boy? Core 300 engine and endo steel, that's a good start. LBX 10, LRM 10. Okay. Okay, that's pretty solid. Some changes to be made, but otherwise. Hmm, I like that. I like that very much. But. That is for another video, so I hope you did enjoy this one, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, don't forget to subscribe. And again, uh, don't forget to come and see me on Twitch. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and Monday is my Battletech day. So I do have a separate playthrough to this one that I do on that one. So if you do want some more Battletech, come over and see me on there. Um, to, well, tonight, as the video publishes, obviously, depending on when you watch this. But I uh, hope you have a good one, guys, but I'm done and I'm out. Bye-bye.